Hi and welcome to my channel Acrylic Pouring by Sarah D. I'm Sarah and today I'm going to do a Dutch pour on a small can canvas. It's 20 by 20 centimeters, so about 8 times 8 inches and a deep set canvas. And the colors I'm going to be using today are Perfect Ideas Gold, Deco Art Extreme Sheen Metallic Color Berry, Perfect Ideas Bronze, Academy Acryl Color um, Indigo, and the last one is PBO Studio Acrylic uh, Iridescent Gold. And I'm going to pour on a white base. And the colors are all mixed with overtroll and water. So, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And don't forget, forget to hit that bell. So you won't miss any of my videos in the future. Because I'm planning on posting a lot of them. So, uh, well, let's begin. As you can see, this is a small canvas, as I said. So I have... Um, Zoom you in, just putting on my apron because I'm destroying my clothes. Okay, so let's see if it's so level. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, so I will speed this part up because uh, now I'm going to pour the base color. Okay, let's pop some bubbles. And I'm sorry about my messy table, but it's a small area and um, I don't really want to move this because I like some of the skins and they haven't dried yet. So, um, I'll be in later. A lot of bubbles. Thick. Okay. Let's pour the colors and I'm thinking about a puddle and hopefully not that much color because uh, well then it will be no negative space so I will try to uh, not over pour the colors. Wish me luck. Okay, there's the gold. Oh, already too much. And then the berry. And then some bronze and the indigo. And the iridescent gold. Pop some. And pop some bubbles. Okay. And here we go.
definitely too much base for this small uh, canvas. So I will do as I did once before. I will um, pour over because actually I like it with some backgrounds. I like um, well, double pour. I think it's pretty because then you get a subtle, more subtle uh, pattern in the background and then more vibrant colors over. I mean, it, is, it wasn't planned this time, but actually I'm not happy with this, so I will redo it. fingers. Well, let's wait and see what pops up. I'm not that super duper happy. Not really. I'm actually I think it's harder to pour on these small canvases, and I'm also pouring a lot of well, too much base, white base. So um, still, because. When I started pouring, uh, I had cheaper canvases, which uh, sucked in a lot of the base color, so you had to put more on, and even if I think I'm putting less on, it's still too much, so. But it's, uh, it, it's a journey, and I'm learning, and I hope you will want to follow me on my journey. Mm. Actually, I think these colors got a lot of, uh, you know, got muddy here, but maybe it's Someone will think it's pretty. It's a bubble. Oh, is it? Uh, yeah, it was. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna scrape this. I will do a uh, third is a charm, right? So uh, I will pause and I will scrape this and I will get back to you. Okay, let's do this quick. I uh, put the last one of my white base on and I switched orders of the colors. So first I'm going to put down the browns and then the blue, the indigo and then just a little bit of the iridescent blue. Oh, sorry, iridescent gold. And then the, the berry. And the last one is the gold. Pop some bubbles. And take that one. I hope it's enough space or no, not, uh, too much or not enough. We'll see. Okay, let's do this.
better, but oh. well, I keep it this way. Is that my favorite? We'll see. Sometimes it's you know when the cell pops up and uh, it gets it feels better and uh, you know it dries nicely and things like that. But I'm really not used to this small canvas. So. But tonight my big canvases will be here. So we, whoa. Okay. Well, that's it for today. Uh